second half of my easy Punjabi entertaining menu, cauliflower and potatoes, so what we call aloo gobi, but not as you see it in a restaurant, just much simpler and quicker and the flavours are much cleaner. So we've got our potatoes that we've already peeled and wedged and I'm just going to finish off cutting some cauliflower florets from this. And what's interesting about this is it's kind of almost like a stir fry. It's a dry dish. It's got no tomatoes, no onions. So the flavors of the cauliflower and the potatoes are really, they really come through, which I think is really important with vegetables because sometimes we have a tendency of drowning them out with all the sauces that we put them with. So I'm just going to heat up some oil, a little bit of oil in the pan. That's plenty. Always put your whole spices in hot oil. It just gives it much more flavor straight away. Uh, so give it a second to get hot. So a bit of cumin. Give that a stir. So I'm going to let that darken and become aromatic. It just takes about 20 seconds, but that gives me enough time to pierce my chilies. Chilies have a lovely, lovely flavour. Um, so, and if you add them in whole, all the real major heat that comes from the, the seeds and the membranes remain within the chilies. So you just get the lovely, clean, astringent flavours of them. So I'm going to add in my green chilies and my shredded ginger. In goes the ginger. Lovely thin shreds. In goes my chilies. Going to give it a good stir. So your mum inspired you to cook. How about your dad? My father loves food, but he doesn't cook. And in fact, I only remember once in my whole life, I walked into the kitchen and my parents were arguing over the hob, which really never happened because my dad didn't really go into the kitchen. So I kind of waited to see what they were arguing about. And it turns out they're arguing about who cooked the fish curry. So my dad's saying, but it's my recipe and I told you what to do. But my mum's saying, but I'm the one who cooked it. <laughs> that's kind of the only time I've seen my father actually over the hob. But he has really great memories of um, growing up in Punjab and going fishing in the local river with his brothers and coming home and cooking the food from there. So I think every now and then he tries to relive it. But then my mum's a good cook and my dad does other things, so I think he sort of tells her what to do and she does it. But it works. It's a good relationship. It works that way. So in goes some turmeric. I'm not going to add too much chilli powder. A little bit of garam masala. Coriander powder. A little bit of cumin powder too. And give that a stir. Be careful not to overcook them. Just give them 10 seconds or so. And I'm going straight in with my vegetables. Cauliflower is used a lot where it's grown. Everything in India is very regional because it just depends where it's grown. And it is a very typical Punjabi ingredient. It is good to cook this in a dish which is actually not so crowded. Um, this is a bit crowded. And actually, I think I might transfer it to a slightly bigger pan. And it'll just crush the cauliflower and the potato, so I don't want that. So I'm going to get a slightly bigger pan. Get that on. And put everything inside there. And a little bit of seasoning, which I didn't put in yet. You can always add more in later. And a good stir to make sure you coat all the vegetables in the spices. OK, so that's all well coated. So I will just leave that to cook and I will cover it. And it only needs about 15 minutes. Give the pan an occasional shake, but don't stir it too much because you'll start breaking up the starch in the vegetables. Here's one I've done earlier. So this has been cooking for about 15 minutes. As you can see, everything's lovely and cooked through. I'm going to turn that heat down, and I'm just going to finish it off with lots of fresh coriander. I've always loved food. But I didn't really think it was going to be a career option for me. It was always sort of something I would do when I wanted to. But then I started working and I really didn't enjoy what I was doing. And I thought, well, why can't I cook for a living? And so I just started and I thought, let me see where it takes me. So I put in a little bit of dried mango powder. Dried mango powder it has a tartness of a raw fruit, but with a, a really interesting, slightly complex flavour, which works really well with this. So you just gently almost fold it in. This is ready to serve. And in that goes. So here we have it. My really quick and easy potatoes with cauliflower. And that's going to go really well with the lentil curry. And so all we have left is my mum's fabulous apricots.